Welcome Spencer, his mom Janine, and Dr. Alex Arcader, orthopedic surgeon at the Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Good to have everyone here. How you guys doing? Here. Hey, How you doing, Spencer? Here. Good. So you're a pretty active guy, right? Yeah. How old are you? Um, ten. Ten. So you're you're pretty big for your age, huh? You started growing early. Now you've been having this foot pain, right? You couldn't play sports because of it, and was that bumming you out pretty bad? Yeah. Yeah, I could imagine. So you went to see Dr. Arcata, right? And uh, yes. so you examined him in your office and checked him out. And what did you find? Well, he's a very active kid. And, um, and he has reached growth spurt sort of early. So mm -hmm. you, you can see that. And there are a lot of uh, causes for heel pain uh, in his age. But he has something called Severs disease. Mm -hmm. So Severs disease is an inflammation of the growth plate. You know, kids, they grow through their growth plates. And the, those growth plates are around the ends of the bones. And in his case, this, the growth plate we're talking about, it's in the heel bone of the calcaneus. And it's right over here where the Achilles tendon inserts and, and the fascia inserts. It's a very busy area. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that area gets irritated um, easily if you're very active. So it's almost like a stress type of uh, injury. Yeah, yeah. Um, and growth spurt seems to, to also uh, have something to do with it. Yeah, so. so because you're growing so quickly, that's probably one of the reasons why this happened. Now, there is good news. That growth plate usually closes and stops growing by the time you're 15. Okay, and since you're actually early, I, I bet it's going to close even earlier on you. So that's good news. But, you know, I see this happening in kids with, that are really active in certain sports. They, they usually involve, you know, the cleats on their feet, like soccer, football, or other places where you're really hitting your heel a lot, like basketball. And I think that's what happened to you, right? So I've got good news, Spencer. So I actually had Severs disease growing up. I grew from 5 feet 6, 5 feet 7 inches to 6 feet 4 inches in less than a year. And I had so much pain where you're at, I, I had to, I couldn't play sports that whole year. You're doing better than me, and it, I got completely better. How did you actually diagnose that he had Severs disease and not something else? So um, it's a good question. I mean, there are two ways to diagnose the combination. There's not one uh, magic way to do it. So exam, I mean, he, has, he had pain in the heel. We were pressing exactly in that area where that uh, growth plate apophysis mm -hmm. is. And the second thing, it's uh, x-rays. So... Um, the extras are not specific for it, but you can see in the, in the very tip of the, the, the heel bone uh, that the growth plate... We have his x-ray right here, I think, have, right? There you go. So you can see in the very, very tip of the... This is the heel bone, the calcaneus, and this is where the growth plate is. The black line is normal. That's, that's where the bone grows. But you can see how this area is a little bit fragmented and a little bit wider than the rest of the bone. So uh, that shows that there is uh, some stress going on mm -hmm. there. Now, treatment's usually uh, uh, icing it, using some anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, but especially rest is super important, right? Anything else you like to do? Sometimes putting inserts to, to help uh, with the balance of the foot is important. Uh, sometimes we use um, just uh, silicone inserts uh, just for the back of the heel to make a little bit of a cushion. Mm -hmm. uh, physical therapy is also important. A lot of the kids have tight heel cords, so the calf muscles are really tight. And if you stretch that, you take a little bit of the pressure away. Unfortunately, if that doesn't work, we have to stop with the exercise, and sometimes we have to put them in a little cast. So we're not there yet with Spencer, but. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's some really good takeaway for parents out there, because as your child's going through their growth spurt, like you are, Spencer, now younger than most kids, if your child's complaining of constant pain in a certain area, you need to go get it checked out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just one of those things I think back to when I went through my spurt, and the, the basketball coach cut me from the team. Oh, and he really? told me that he didn't think I was trying hard enough. Wow. And little did he know, when I went home, I could barely walk. And wow. I was in so much pain. But no one really talked about Severs disease. I had never heard of it. So mm -hmm. there are all these... These things that happen to kids when they're growing, and, and if you're having issues, you have to go get it checked out. And if you're growing quickly, you might think, oh, it's growing pains. But, you know, growing pains tend to, to move around. It may hurt in the knee once, and then a couple days later, it's his other foot or something. But the fact that it was always the same place for his pain, definitely a sign to get it checked out. And the good news, Spencer, is you're growing early, and pretty soon you're going to be towering over the other kids. Mm -hmm. That pain's going to be gone. And in the meantime, we've got some great solutions for you, Dr. Arcator. Thank you for sharing those with us. Good luck with the baseball season. Mm -hmm.